The School of International and Public Affairs at Columbia University also known as SIPA is an international affairs and public policy school and one of Columbia's graduate and professional schools in Morningside Heights, Manhattan, New York City. SIPA offers Master of International Affairs and Master of Public Administration degree programs in a range of fields, as well the Executive MPA and PhD program in Sustainable Development. SIPA offers a number of dual degree programs with other schools of Columbia University and offers international dual degree programs with the London School of Economics and Political Science, Sciences Po, the Hertie School of Governance in Berlin, EAES PFGV in Sao Paulo, the University of Tokyo and the Lee Kuan Yew School of Public Policy at the National University of Singapore through the Global Public Policy Network GPPN. SIPA's alumni include former heads of state, business leaders, journalists, diplomats, and elected representatives. Half of SIPA's nearly 1,400 students are international, coming from over 100 countries. SIPA has more than 70 full-time faculty, many of which include the world's leading scholars on international relations. History Columbia University's School of International Affairs was founded in 1946, in the aftermath of World War II. Emphasizing practical training, the mission of the school was to foster understanding of regions of vital interest and to prepare diplomats, officials, and other professionals to meet the complexities of the post-war world. It originated in dynamic regional institutes that drew on Columbia's renowned faculties in history, economics, political science, linguistics, and other traditional fields. The school awarded a Master of International Affairs MIA degree. By 1967, the school was home to eight regional institutes, covering nearly every part of the globe. It also contained the non-area specific Institute of War and Peace Studies now the Arnold A. Saltzman Institute of War and Peace Studies, founded in 1951 by University President Dwight D. Eisenhower. Originally housed in a row of brownstones, the school moved into its own 15-story building in 1971. To meet a growing demand for public service professionals, the school added a second degree, the Master of Public Administration, in 1977. In 1981, the program was renamed the Graduate Program in Public Policy and Administration and the school renamed the School of International and Public Affairs SIPA. In the early 1990s, SIPA began appointing its own faculty, supplementing the distinguished social and natural scientists and humanists with whom SIPA students studied around the university. Within 15 years, SIPA faculty were among the most prominent in their fields, including the one-time director of the U.S. Census, a Nobel laureate in economics, a judge on the appellate body of the World Trade Organization, economic advisors in both the Bill Clinton and George H. W. Bush administrations, a former assistant secretary general of the United Nations, and many distinguished research scholars. In 1992, with support from the World Bank, the Program in Economic Policy Management PEPM was established to provide mid-career finance professionals with the skills required for effective design and implementation of economic policy, emphasizing the problems of developing and transition economies. Students who complete PEPM's requirements are awarded an MPA degree. To accommodate the needs of working professionals who could not pursue full-time study, SIPA established the Executive MPA program in 1999 as part of the Picker Center for Executive Education. In 2001 the school introduced an MPA in Environmental Science and Policy ESP, which condenses the two years into 12 consecutive months, without a reduction in requirements, and provides core courses in management and policy analysis with a concentration in environmental science and earth systems. The ESP MPA program is offered in cooperation with the Earth Institute and the Lamont Doherty Earth Observatory. In fall 2004, SIPA inaugurated its first doctoral program, the Interdisciplinary PhD in Sustainable Development, which combines elements of a traditional graduate education in social science, particularly economics, with a significant training in the natural sciences. Topic Academics Topic International Dual Degree Programs 
Through the Global Public Policy Network, SIPA offers a number of dual degree programs with the University of Tokyo, the London School of Economics, the Institut d'études politiques de Paris, Sciences Po, the Hertie School of Governance in Berlin, and the Lee Kuan Yew School of Public Policy at the National University of Singapore. Topic concentrations and specializations In addition to fulfilling all core requirements, MIA and MPA students must also satisfy the requirements of both a policy concentration and a specialization. Students choose one of the following six concentrations, economic and political development, energy and environment with focus areas in global energy management and policy, energy resource management, and environmental policy and management, international finance and economic policy includes focus areas in international finance, international economic policy, and central banking, human rights and humanitarian policy, international security policy, or urban and social policy. Students choose a specialization in one of the following, Advanced Policy and Economic Analysis, International Organization and UN Studies, Technology, Media, and Communications, Management, or Regional Expertise eight different regions, countries. Regional specializations are offered in the following areas, Africa, East Asia, East Central Europe, Europe, Latin America, the Middle East, Russia, South Asia, and the United States. Topic rankings and reputation Foreign policy ranked SIPA 5th in its 2018 ranking of top master's programs for policy career in international relations. In addition, SIPA was ranked first by U.S. News & World Report Best Graduate Schools 2018 World Rankings for International Global Policy and Administration and 5th for Environmental Policy and Management. Centers. SIPA is home to five centers Center for Development Economics and Policy CDEP, supports microeconomic research to investigate the sources of poverty and to inform practical interventions to address them. Center on Global Energy Policy CGEP, provides independent, balanced, data-driven analysis to help policymakers navigate the complex world of energy. Center on Global Economic Governance CGEG, produces policy-oriented research on global economic governance. Center for International Conflict Resolution CICR, contributes to the resolution of international deadly conflict through research, education and practice. Saltzman Institute of War and Peace Studies SIWPS, founded in 1951 under the sponsorship of Dwight D. Eisenhower, during his tenure as president of Columbia University, SIWPS was created to promote understanding of the "...disastrous consequences of war upon man's spiritual, intellectual, and material progress." The institute has become one of the leading research centers on international relations in the United States. Publications Journal of International Affairs was established in 1947 and is the oldest university affiliated publication in the field of international relations. It is edited by SIPA students. The Morningside Post is SIPA's student founded, student run multimedia news publication. Its content, student-written investigative news about SIPA and the SIPA community, plus world affairs analysis, opinion, and satire. Conflict Resolution Journal is a dynamic and evolving web-based project founded by SIPA students. SIPA News is a biannual publication featuring articles by faculty, students, and alumni as well as news about the school. Topic. Notable alumni Madeleine Albright former United States Secretary of State Jose Ramos Horta graduate student, President of East Timor 2007, former Prime Minister, Nobel laureate Salim Ahmed Salim, Prime Minister of Tanzania, Secretary General of the Organization of African Unity, President of the United Nations General Assembly Joseph Kofi Adda, Member of Ghanaian Parliament for Navrongo Central and Ghanaian Minister for Energy Ibrahim Igbula Gambari, Minister of External Affairs of Nigeria and UN Undersecretary General for Political Affairs David Kay, Chief UN Weapons Inspector and Head of Iraq Survey Group 
George Tenet, former director of the Central Intelligence Agency Howard Warren Buffett, former policy advisor, Executive Office of the President of the United States for Barack Obama, Executive Director of the Howard G. Buffett Foundation William Clark Jr., former U.S. Ambassador to India Bill de Blasio, Mayor of New York City and former public advocate Alyssa Stotkin, former U.S. Assistant Secretary of Defense for International Security and Congresswoman-elect for Michigan's 8th Congressional District Ina Drew, former Chief Investment Officer for J.P. Morgan, forced to resign after JPM suffered a trading loss of $2 billion in April, May 2012 Pamela Druckerman, writer and freelance journalist Daniel Fried, Assistant U.S. Secretary of State for European and Eurasian Affairs Stephen Fulop, Mayor of Jersey City, New Jersey Eric Garcetti, Mayor of Los Angeles Nellie Gorbia, Secretary of State of Rhode Island Victor Gottbaum, Head of DC 37, the largest municipal union in New York City Patricia M. Haslich, former U.S. Ambassador to Laos Jingdong Hua, Treasurer and Vice President of the International Finance Corporation Glenn Kessler, journalist, Washington Post reporter and author Shinjiro Koizumi, son of former Japanese Prime Minister Junichiro Koizumi, Secretary of the Japanese National Diet Stephen Krasner, Director for Policy Planning at the U.S. Department of State and Professor of International Relations at Stanford University Edward Luck, United Nations expert and SIPA professor Gunnar Lund, Ambassador of Sweden to France 2008 -present, formerly to the United States Jim Nicholson, former U.S. Secretary of Veterans Affairs Michael Oren, Israeli Ambassador to the United States Letitia James, New York City Public Advocate and New York Attorney General-elect Robert D. Reischauer, Director of the U.S. Congressional Budget Office Curtis Roosevelt, International Civil Servant and Professor James Rubin, Assistant Secretary of State for Public Affairs and Chief Spokesman for the State Department 1997 May 2000. Elizabeth Rossiello, Founder and CEO of Bitpesa Vuslet Doan Sabanji, Billionaire Turkish Businesswoman and Chairwoman of Hurriyet William E. Schaufel Jr., Former U.S. Representative, UN Security Council, Former Ambassador to Poland Andrew J. Shapiro 1995, Assistant Secretary of State for Political Military Affairs 2009. Claire Shipman, ABC News Correspondent Sichan SIV, former U.S. Deputy Secretary of State, former U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations Economic and Social Council ECOSOC. Richard Mills Smith, CEO of Newsweek Frank Snepp, journalist and former CIA analyst Joan E. Sparrow, President of the Doris Duke Charitable Foundation and Undersecretary of State for Economic, Business, and Agricultural Affairs Katie Stanton, Head of International Strategy, Twitter Jens Altveit Mo, Founder and CEO of UMO as Tina Fordham, Managing Director and Chief Global Political Analyst at Citigroup Alexander Vershbo, Deputy Secretary General of NATO and former Assistant Secretary of Defense for International Security Affairs Ross Wilson, U.S. Ambassador to Turkey Brian Winter, Governor of the Bank of Jamaica Donald Yamamoto, Principal Deputy Assistant Secretary of State and former Ambassador to Ethiopia Anissa Costa, Chairman and President of the Tiffany & Co Foundation Peter Zalmayev, Human Rights Activist and Director of the Eurasia Democracy Initiative Karen Ataya, Global Opinions Editor at The Washington Post. Notable faculty. Chris Blattman, development economist, blogger Jagdish Bhagwati, trade economist Richard K. Betts, prominent political scientist and director of the Saltzman Institute of War and Peace Studies J. Boyer Bell, historian, artist, and art critic Akhil Bilgrami, philosopher of language and of mind Guillermo Calvo, economist for macroeconomics and monetary economics, famous for Calvo staggered contracts David Dinkins, first African-American mayor of New York City Mamadou Diouf, historian Michael W. Doyle, the theorist of the liberal democratic peace. 
Albert Fischlow, noted expert on Brazil and former Deputy Assistant Secretary of State for Inter-American Affairs Howard Stephen Friedman, health economist and statistician at the United Nations Merit Yano, the only North American member of the WTO appellate body, former Deputy Assistant U.S. Trade Representative for Japan and China 1990 Robert Jervis, one of the most influential international relations scholars, expert on foreign policy analysis and political psychology Rashid Khalidi, historian and former director of SIPA's Middle East Institute Kenneth Lipper, former deputy mayor of New York City, financier, novelist, and screenwriter Mark M. Lowenthal, former assistant director of Central Intelligence for Analysis and Production and deputy assistant secretary of state for intelligence research Edward Luck, expert on the United Nations William H. Lewers, retired career diplomat and museum executive Mahmoud Mamdani, leading Africa scholar Jack F. Matlock, Jr., former U.S. Ambassador to the Soviet Union Jose Antonio Ocampo, former U.N. Undersecretary General for Economic and Social Affairs Mary Robinson, the first female President of the Republic of Ireland, United Nations High Commissioner for Human Rights Arvind Panagaria, Professor of Economics Kenneth Pruitt, political scientist and former Director of the United States Census Bureau David Rothkoff, Chairman and CEO of the Rothkoff Group, and Garten Rothkoff, and former Deputy Undersecretary of Commerce for International Trade Jeffrey Sachs, Chief Economic Advisor to Many Governments, former Director of the UN Millennium Project, Special Advisor to United Nations Secretary General on the Millennium Development Goals Giovanni Sartori, Albert Schweitzer Professor Emeritus in the Humanities at Columbia University Stephen Sestanovich, former Ambassador-at-Large and Special Advisor to the Secretary of State on the New Independent States NIS. Gary Sick, Iran expert and three-time member of the National Security Council David Siegel, Adjunct Professor of Entrepreneurial, Organizational and Strategic Management, CEO of Investopedia David C. Stark, Professor of Sociology Alfred Stepan, Professor of Government Joseph Stiglitz, Nobel Prize-winning former senior vice president and chief economist of the World Bank and former chair of the President's Council of Economic Advisors Kenneth Waltz, one of the most influential international relations scholars. He is one of the founders of neorealism, or structural realism, in international relations theory. Notable former faculty Ernst Jack 1875 German-born Orientalist and founder of the Middle East Institute Lisa Anderson, former Dean of SIPA and a leading expert on the Middle East, former President of the American University in Cairo Zbigniew Brzezinski, National Security Advisor under U.S. President Jimmy Carter Robert C. Lieberman, former Interim Dean of SIPA and Provost of the Johns Hopkins University John Ruggie, former Dean of SIPA, former Assistant Secretary General and Chief Advisor for Strategic Planning to United Nations Secretary General Kofi Annan. He continues to serve as the UN Secretary General's Special Representative for Business and Human Rights. Zalme Khalilzad, former United States Ambassador to the United Nations. Amina J. Muhammad, Deputy Secretary General of the United Nations and former Ministry of Environment of Nigeria. Topic. Notable former international fellows Michael Armacost, diplomat, Deputy Secretary of State, President of Brookings Institution Bonnie Erb, host of the PBS television show To the Contrary Harold Varmus, Nobel Prize winner, head of National Institute of Health Jim Hightower, progressive activist Richard M. Smith, Chairman and Editor-in-Chief of Newsweek Frederick Kemp, President, Atlantic Council of the United States <laughs>